Hello, this is Kelly from Room Pursuit, and today we're talking about jumpstarting your creativity. So I think some of us get into a rut sometimes where we can't just find the energy. We've been looking forward to crafting and we finally get a chance, so we sit down and nothing's happening and we're just not feeling it. I have a theory that it has to do with right brain and left brain. My thoughts are that when you are participating in activities that are very left brain, which is that logical side. It's not that creativity side. It's that logical, I'm doing math, I'm doing accounting, my taxes, whatever, that that sort of get you into that left brain mode, especially if lots of people have left brain jobs. You know, we spent in our entire week in left brain mode and suddenly we finally get a chance to craft and, and our creativity isn't sparked. So my theory is that it's just based on your activities and you can spur it. I think some people probably are constantly using their left brain and their right brain, but I think for me, I kind of switch back and forth between my right brain and my left brain. When I'm doing certain activities, I'll come back and try to do create creative stuff and it's just not working. Over the years, I would, a long time ago, I would have months long times where I wouldn't do anything very creative or crafty because I just got into that mode. But now I have certain activities that I do spark that creative side and my right brain to sort of is kick it into gear basically. So what are these activities? The first ones I'll give you are online. So sometimes what I'll do is just looking through Pinterest images of junk journals and projects can be enough. You know, if I spend like an hour just going through different things when I'm at the end of it, all of a sudden I'm like re-energized. The other thing is going through flip through videos, not, not necessarily tutorial videos. And I'm not sure why this is, but just flip throughs of journals seems to spark my creativity more than any kind of other video. So the other physical ones, my go-tos for sparking the creativity and this one is is my favorite and probably the one i do most frequently it's creating the collage or master board and by the end of that collage being created my creativity is is good again i think it does because you know it's such a straightforward process you know you take a piece of paper and you glue it down it, there's not a whole lot of thought to it but yet the process of, of deciding which papers is just enough for me to get my creativity flowing. The other surefire method that really does it is coloring. So just taking a coloring book and going for going for it. So I really like the colors on here, the pinks and the blues. I'm not even using a pink. So I did all the detail work of picking out and I choose small projects. I like this book because I can just, you know, do like one image or I can take like part of an, of an image. Like I could go here and just color this much because if I do a whole page, I mean, that could take me like five hours or something but I have a few shortcuts that I use so for instance this one I'm done coloring with the pencils but now I'll just go through and use my ink because I really like the pink overall so I sort of just leave all of those spots open and then and then I cut it out and then I've got a little a little piece that's ready to either fussy cut around or just leave it as is to add to an album so it's like a two-in-one deal here because you're, you're coloring it but yet you're also 
for to get your creativity. But coloring books, that's my that's my other idea that works really well for sparking your your creativity. Another method is free writing. If you just do like free writing, if you're a writer kind of a person, you that may appeal to you, that does work. It's free writing is sort of like one of those things where you have to be able to say, I'm just going to write whatever thoughts come into my head. Even if you're writing blah, 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 six times in a row, that's totally fine. It, it still works. So I hope you found these helpful. This really does work for me. And I think it's just a big part of it is understanding a little bit of why it's happening to to help you say, oh yeah, I did totally just do my tax, finish my taxes, and that's probably why I can't. I'm 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 really stuck in that left brain logical uh, process, which is why your creativity is being blocked. So I have heard another junk journaler say um, on their video that they've never gone through a phase where they where they felt blocked, and I think that some people their brains work a little bit differently. So, but I still think there's plenty of us out there who kind of go have that ebb and flow. And this is just a way to c control the ebb a little bit more and, and keep us in the flow part of it. So I hope you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.